roof over their heads, some of them. But just know that everything is all right. And there is no shame and no harm because let me tell you, she's not there. She's not there. She's already gone on. And I hope that uh, you would cherish those memories and those things that she has said. I know she had uh, said enough. But Sister Kelly, I want to tell her, I, I'm here to tell you, you have done a marvelous job. And I didn't know that uh, she had this lot of a family. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to try to do the best we can. We don't, we, don't, we don't want to try to keep you too long. We're going to try to, we're going to go on into the uh, services. So we're going to ask that, uh, I think it's First Lady Erica Berg. She's going to give us a selection. And then we're going to have the invitation by uh, Reverend Dotson. And then we're going to have the grandsons to come up and give our scripture. If you come in that order.
But there are a few moments in our lives when we can say we actually have a moment of rejoicing. Uh, some great man said once that we should, rather than to cry at the death of a person, especially one like Earlene, we should rejoice. And at birth, we should cry because of what they have to face and what Earlene has already faced. And this gathering is a testimony of her life. So as I pray, I'm lifting you up because she's already safe in the arms of Jesus. Amen. There is no trouble where she is. She's on the other side of the river. And what she's saying is, I'll keep the light on for you because your turn is coming. And we, I, it's, a, it's our prayer that we can rejoice over your life as we are now over hers. Most holy and gracious God, our Father, we come into your presence truthfully because your spirit is among us. We thank you for her life. We thank you for the impression that she's made on each and every soul that's represented here. We rejoice. We shed tears because of she is missing here, but she's not lost. She's with you, and there's no more trouble for her. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the impressions that she's made. Thank you for the legacy of life that she's left on these who do shed a tear because they do miss her. I knew her through her daughter, BK. And all the things BK would say about her made me feel like I knew her very well. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for the life of Erlene. Thank you that you have given her the kind of life that we can say has impressed us, has guided us and kept us. And it's in the mighty and the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we all say, Amen. Amen. I'll be reading the 23rd Psalm today. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I just